this lesson is all about the angles in uh, parallel lines. So first of all, we're going to talk about the basics of the lines and angles, then move on to the angles in a pair of a parallel line. Then we will talk about the questions linking to finding the missing angles. Right, the first of all, can you have a look at the pictures? Then which one is a line? So you can see three different lines. So they all have different names. So one of them is a ray and line segment and lines. So which one is which? Have a guess. Right, so well done. So let's have a look at the different names of this line. I think you already know all about it, right? So first one is definitely line. Then second one is called the ray. Then the finally last one is a line segment. And do you know the, all the difference between them? As you can see in the picture, so definition of a line is it goes forever in both directions and have a no ending point. Then what about ray? How the ray is different from line? Ray has one end point and the other end goes on forever. Then how about the line segment? Yes, right. Line segment is a piece of a line that has two ending points. It's just you know, connecting two different points together. And I'm pretty sure that you, you know all the different types of lines, right? So let's quickly recap the all different lines together and have a look at the name of the lines. Let's draw it together. So first of all, horizontal lines. So horizontal line is a, yes, like a x-axis. You draw the line from the left to right. And vertical lines is a y-axis, is up and down line and diagonal lines. Yes, right, you can see this. And the intersecting lines are the two parallel lines. They are meeting at the same point. These are the intersecting lines. And then perpendicular line is a special intersecting lines. Two lines are meeting at the right angle. And then all of the angles around the perpendicular line is a 90 degree, right? Then now, finally, the parallel lines is a, the opposite intersecting line. We've got a two lines, and if you extend the lines forever, then they never meet. These are the parallel lines. So pair of parallel lines is very important for this topic. Now let's talk about what is an angle. Have a look at picture. So the angle is formed when two rays are joined at their end point. Can you see the vertex? At the end of the rays and then the between two rays you can see angle these are called the angles and then then I'm pretty sure you all know about types of angles so that's why let's quickly recap the different types of angle from the small one to the largest one let's go the first angle is called the Acute angle, then we all know the acute angles are the less than 90 degree. The next one is a right angle. Right angle is exactly the 90 degree, right? The next one is a obtuse angle is measured the greater than 90 degree and less than 180. Then now we can see the straight angles is definitely 180. The next angle is called the reflex angle is, you know, when the ray forms the two angles, the smaller one is acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, but the other side we can have a bigger angle and the bigger angle is a reflex angle and the reflex angles are always measured greater than 180 and then less than 360. Finally, we've got a full rotation angle that is a full turn right the full turn is 360 and we also call this angle as a complete angle as well now we've got a few more angles and right now we've got a pair of angles can you see all different angles the first one is called the yeah this is easy one right so opposite angles so we've got two angles there on the opposite side is the opposite angle and always they have the same size then the next one is adjacent angle is the two angles they are uh, right next to each other these are called the adjacent angle and then next angle is you can see two angles add up to 90 degree and these angles are called the complementary angles 
And finally, we can see angle A and B and any angle on in the straight line is called a supplementary angles and they always add up to 180. So now we've been talking about the, all the sort of lines and all the kinds of angles. And then now finally, let's talk about the main topics of this lesson that is angles in the parallel line. So have a look at this. I have a, a pair of parallel lines. Then, now, I have another line in here, blue line, it crosses a pair of parallel lines. Then, whenever you see this happen, then there are always two groups of angles you can see. So I'm going to draw the two groups of angles with the black color. Then, can you see the one group of angles at the top and the other group of angles at the bottom, right? So, there are very important point I want you to notice about these angles. I'm going to talk about the three important points about these angles. First of all, so both groups of angles are exactly the same. So have a look at this. I'm just going to put the blue point on the bigger angle and then smaller angles with the green point. Then the, the other groups of angles same. It has got a the pair of greater angles and smaller angles and these are exactly the same, right? Then second point we need to notice is each group only contains two different angles. As you can see, we have smaller angles that is a green angles and then greater angles that is a blue angles, right? So we have only two types of angles. Then the last point we can find is the two different angles in here, green angle and the blue angles are supplementary angles. Do you remember what's the supplementary angles? The two angles add up to 180, right? The angles in the straight line. So let's say green angle is A, blue angle is B, then A plus B is always 180. These are the one of the important rules we can notice, right? So Based on these three rules, I'm going to introduce four important things about the angles in the parallel line and that I will, these are very important. Whenever you've got a missing angle, you need to use these four important rules, okay? And these rule. So rule one, corresponding angles are always the same. That is our first rule. Then what I mean by the corresponding angles are is can you spot? I'm going to draw the F shape on my parallel lines. So let's see. So I drew the F shape. Then can you notice the two angles in the corner? You can see two corners then the two angles in the two corners are corresponding angles. Then our rule is these two corresponding angles are always the same size. Then this happens when it comes to the other angle as well. But can you see the angles above the F shape? Then I'm going to draw it with the red one. So can you see two pair of red angles? These are corresponding angles as well, and then these are the same size. Then we can see more corresponding angles if you flip over the F shape. Then now I'm going to show you four pairs of corresponding angles. So let's find it together. First of all, begins with the F shape, then the, in the corner of the F shape, so I'm going to draw the two blue angles. These are corresponding angles, they are the same size. And I have uh, two red angles, they are the same size because they are corresponding angles. And then next, then the other side, I've got green angles, these are the same because these are the corresponding angles as well. Finally, the a pair of purple angles as well. So now, uh, the angles in the parallel line, we can see four pair of corresponding angles and these are always the same. The next rule is alternate angles and 
Alton angles are pretty similar to the corresponding angles as well. So the, this type of angles is just a matter of how you quickly notice these angles. Alternate angles, I want you to draw the Z shapes. So have a look at the Z shapes. That, did you see the two corners, two pointy corners, right? In the two pointy corners, we can see two angles. These are called the alternate angles. And then the rule is the alternate angles are always equal. The size of the, these two angles are always the same. Then if you flip over the Z shape, this is the same. So flip the Z shape over. Then now we can also see two different corners, right? And then angles in these two corners are the alternate angles and definitely they are the same. So now I think you already noticed that alternate angles are between the pair of the parallel lines, right? And then they are the other side of each other with a line in the middle. These angles are called alternate angles and you can see two pair of alternate angles in the parallel lines. That next one is called the allied angles. Allied angles are pretty similar because allied angles are also between the parallel line but these are on the same sides. Have a look at these gray angles, right? So between the two parallel lines, then you can see two angles on the same sides. And then what's different between the alternate angle is these add up to 180. There is a reason. Let's see. Can you notice the blue angle, right? That we all learn about the corresponding angle. I'm going to draw the corresponding angle for the blue one. These two blue are equal, right? Then now, as you already noticed, the blue angle and then the red angle, they are, yes, great, they are supplementary angles. They add up to 180. That's why we can come up with the rule, the angles between the pair over parallel line, and then if they are on the same side, and then they always add up to 180. And the other size is exactly the same. I'm going to put uh, the red one because these two are alternate angles and then blue one is alternate angle, right? Can you see? Can you connect these rules together? Yeah? And these are add up to 180. So finally, let's talk about the last rule is opposite angle. Opposite angles are the same. Then this is quite easy, right? So opposite angles are very easy to notice. But what I want you to try here is try to connect other rules as well. Try to spot the alternate angles and then corresponding angles, allied angles as well. So now, I'm begins with the purple angle. That opposite angle is the same size, right? That now what angle can you find? I'm thinking to find the alternate angle, right? They are the same. Then can you see another opposite angle? Yes, so all purple, four purple angles are the same, right? Then now let's talk about the greater angle, the blue one opposite. Then you can see alternate angle, right? Then that's why it's the same. Then also you can see the corresponding angle as well. Then these are the opposite. So. So when it comes to the, the angles in the parallel line, try to use all of the four rules together. Then later on, we will have a question linking to finding the missing angles, right? So this is the end of the lesson. And this lesson, we've been quickly talk about the, the basics of the lines and types of line, also basics of angles and types of angle. Finally, I uh, introduced the four different rules linking to the angles in the parallel line. First one is a uh, corresponding angles are the same. Corresponding angles are the angle with the F shape and the corner, right? And the alternate angles are the same. And alternate angles are two angles underneath the two pair of parallel line, but they are on the different side, right? And then third rule. Allied angles are add up to 180 and allied angles are the two angles underneath the two pair of parallel line, but they are on the same side. And finally, opposite angles are the same. Okay, please, please remember these four rules. And then next lesson, we're going to deal with some, some more questions linking to 
finding the missing angles. Right, bye bye, see you next lesson.